Monday is the solar eclipse and local retailers are selling eclipse viewing glasses. However, there are other ways to look at the eclipse and keep your eyes safe. Hagen Zinnaker has the latest. With the eclipse happening on Monday afternoon, the main concern is eye health. As we all know, looking up at the sun, even for just a quick peek, can cause damage to the eye. That is why many local retailers are selling special eyeglasses that allow you to look up at the sun without causing damage. You need eye protection to be able to see the sun because the sun is incredibly bright, and so these filter about 99% of the light, so you're actually able to see the sun in all of its detail, and you'll be able to see as the moon crosses over the sun, it'll be a smaller and smaller sliver. This will let you look at the sun for as long as you need to. You just cannot take them off unless you're in totality. There is also another way to take a look at the eclipse that does not need glasses, but does require a little bit of ingenuity. One of my favorite methods is called a pinhole projector, and you can either use like the shadow from some trees or you can use a pasta strainer. And you'll actually be able to see as the light gets filtered through, you'll have a small pinhole on the ground that shows what the sun looks like. As the moon starts to cover over the sun, it'll actually start to look like a crescent moon, but it's the sun. Most of southeast Iowa and northeast Missouri lie on the 80 to 90 percent coverage area for the eclipse. That might seem like a lot, but the sun is brighter than you think, and it will only dim the area like a cloudy day. It'll get a little bit dimmer for sure, but there's a huge difference between Kirksville at about 91 percent totality and around Cape Girardeau area, which is about 100. So here it'll probably get a little bit dimmer, maybe a little bit colder, but the noticeable difference, there's, it's an incredible difference between 90 and 100%. Additionally, if you are going to be watching the entire eclipse, you may be in direct sunlight for hours. That is why it is important to put on sunblock and protective clothing to prevent skin damage. For KTVO News, I'm Hagen Zinnaker. You can find additional safety tips attached to this article on our website at ktvo.com.